Hi everyone, this is Rashmi and today I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute little teddy bear. For this tutorial I will be using this double knit yarn in grey colour and we are going to be working this with a 3.5mm crochet hook. Now some people prefer to work amigurumi with cotton yarn, however in this particular instance I feel if you make it with the double knit yarn it gives you quite a nice and soft teddy bear while keeping the stitches quite small. So if you want to use the same type of yarn then go ahead and check out the description box below as I will leave the details in there for you. To start off we're going to make a magic circle and to do this you're going to take the yarn and wrap it around your two fingers making an X at the base like this. Turn them over and this is the side you're working with. Take your crochet, put it under the first, pull up a loop using the second, keep this nice and loose so we can pick this bit of yarn from here and make it go through your loop on your crochet and that makes your magic circle. Now to start round one you can go ahead and work six single crochets inside this magic circle. Now if you're not a great fan of magic circles we can start off in a different way so we can go ahead and work a slip knot instead. So once you have your slip knot you're going to put your crochet in and work chain two. So yarn over, pull through the loop once yarn over pull through the loop twice you have two chains and now we are going to start our round one from here you're going to skip the first chain and in the second one you're going to work six single crochets stick your crochet in pull up a loop yarn over and pull through both that's our first single crochet of this round let's go back into that same stitch and work five more here's my second here's my third fourth, fifth and my sixth one. Now once you have your six single crochets you're going to pull on this end to close this slip knot so you don't have any gap in between your stitches. Now to start round two we are going to locate our first single crochet of this previous round and we're going to slip our crochet inside it. Sometimes it's hard to locate your first single crochet, but once you've done this one, other stitches are quite nice and easy to access. So once you put your crochet in there, pull up a loop from there, yarn over, pull through both. That's my first single crochet of my round two. Here's my second single crochet, which is worked in the same stitch. Now we're going to go all the way around and work two single crochets in every single one of these stitches. my last stitch here so we're going to work two more single crochets in here now at the end of this round you should have a total of 12 stitches to start the next round we're going to work a single crochet in our first stitch of this round and from here I would suggest for you to use a stitch marker but if you don't like using stitch markers you can always use a scrap bit of yarn or you can carry on with the counting which I personally don't like but it's up to you so you can have first single crochet and then we are going to follow this on with an increase. So two single crochets in the very next stitch. One single crochet and then two single crochets and we're going to repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round we should have a total of 18 stitches. Now to start the next round we're going to work two single crochets in our next two stitches. So that's my second one. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker in place again in our first single crochet of this round. And after those two single crochets, we are going to work an increase in the next stitch. So we're going to have two single crochets in the same stitch. Follow this on with one single crochet, one single crochet, and increase, one single crochet, one single crochet, and increase all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. We're now going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row. So that's my first, second, and here's the third one. And we're going to follow this on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. 
let's go ahead and put our stitch marker in place in our first single crochet and repeat the same process three single crochets follow on with an increase three single crochet and increase all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 30 stitches now for the next round we're going to have four single crochets in a row so that's my first one let's go ahead and put our stitch marker in place and go ahead and follow this with three more single crochets so that's two three four and we're going to have an increase in the next stitch so there's my first single crochet and here's my second one so from here you're going to repeat this same process four single crochets in a row followed by an increase four single crochets and increase all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 36 stitches now to start the next round we're going to have five single crochets in a row I'm going to go ahead and put my stitch marker in my first single crochet first so that's two three four five I'm going to follow this on with an increase in the next stitch so two single crochets in the same stitch Follow this on with five single crochets and increase five single crochets and increase all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 42 stitches. Now in this round, we're going to work six single crochets in a row. Let's start with our first one in our first stitch and put our stitch marker in place. So six single crochets in a row followed by an increase six single crochets and increase all the way around. At the end of this round you should have a total of 48 stitches now in the next round we're going to have seven single crochets in a row followed by an increase seven single crochets and increase all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 54 stitches now in this round we are going to have eight single crochets in a row follow on with an increase eight single crochets and increase all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 60 stitches now in this round we're going to work nine single crochets in a row let's put our stitch marker in the first single crochet and we're going to follow that on with an increase nine single crochets and increase and repeat that all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 66 stitches now in this round we are going to have 10 single crochets in a row Let's place our stitch marker in place and that's two three four five six seven eight nine and here's my tenth I'm going to follow that on with an increase so two single crochets in the same stitch and repeat that all the way around so 10 single crochets and increase 10 single crochets and increase at the end of this round we should have a total of 72 stitches and we're going to now start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch let's put our stitch marker in place and we're going to work 22 stitches more to make the total 23 so you're going to have 23 single crochets followed by an increase 23 single crochets and increase all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 75 stitches and now we're going to start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch let's put our stitch marker in place and we are now going to have 24 single crochets all together follow on with an increase 24 single crochets and increase all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 78 single crochets let's take our stitch marker off and work a single crochet in the first stitch and let's put our stitch marker in place as well now in this round we're going to work a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and we're going to repeat that 11 times to have 11 rounds of single crochet so what i would suggest for you to do is to start off your round and 
take a different bit of yarn or maybe another stitch marker to identify exactly where you're starting your first round of single crochets because there are 11 of them to go uh, sometimes it's very easy to lose the count of your rounds so i tend to just pull through a scrap bit of yarn like this and that helps me identify exactly where I'm starting my rounds. So from here I can carry on working a single crochet in every single one of these stitches and I will by the end of 11 rounds of single crochet I can identify exactly where I started and I can obviously keep a clear count of my rounds as well. So go ahead and work 11 rounds of single crochets and meet me back here. At the end of 11 rounds of single crochet our stitch count should still be 78. Let's take our stitch marker out and to start the next round you're going to have a single crochet in the first stitch and let's put our stitch marker in and we're going to follow this on with 23 more single crochets to make the total 24. So that's my first, second, third, fourth, Twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Here we go, and we're going to follow this on with a decrease. So to do this, you're going to put your crochet in this stitch, the next stitch up, and pull up a loop. We're going to do the same with the stitch after that, and pull up a loop. We have three loops on our crochet. Yarn over and pull through all three in one go. So that works a decrease. We are going to follow this on with twenty-four single crochets. A decrease 24 single crochets and a decrease all the way around at the end of this round your stitch count should be 75 and we're going to start the next round with 23 single crochets in a row followed by a decrease 23 single crochets a decrease and repeat that all the way around now that we've finished our 11 rounds of single crochet we can take this bit of yarn out and carry on with this round at the end of this round your stitch count should be 72 going to take the stitch marker out and work 10 single crochets in a row followed by a decrease 10 single crochets a decrease all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 66 stitches now before we carry on and work any more rounds we are going to put the eyes in place as well so uh, the eyes that i'm using are security eyes specially made for stuffed toys you can certainly get the same ones by following the link in the description box below this size is 12 millimeters now to put this in you're going to first of all make sure that the stitch that you finished with is at the back so this one's at the back so i'm going to fold this over so i can see the opposite side which is this right here so roughly that's in the middle and i've just folded that over so i know that that's the center of the front now from here I'm going to count 21 rounds down. So this is the center of my rounds. So that's first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, twentieth, and twenty-first round is right here. So in this round I'm going to place both of the eyes in. And uh, when we are doing this, we are going to make them 10 in uh, 10 stitches apart so if this is the center from here i'm going to count five over this side five over that side so one two three four five so roughly it's going to go into that stitch so i'm going to put this plastic eye in there i'm not going to put the backing on until we are 100 percent sure that that's where we want it so after this let's count 10 over one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and i'm going to put this eye in the stitch after that so in the 11th stitch right there making sure that both of them go in the same round now before you put the backing on you're going to just be 100 percent sure that this is you're happy with the position of the eyes so i'm happy with that so we can turn this over and put the backing 
for these eyes on because once the backing goes on this does not come off there we go now back onto our rounds and we are now going to have next round starting with a single crochet in the first stitch like this and we're going to follow this on with eight more to make the total count nine so in this round you're going to have nine single crochets followed by a decrease nine single crochets a decrease and repeat that all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 60 stitches now to start the next round we are going to have eight single crochets in a row followed by a decrease eight single crochets a decrease all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 54 stitches we're now going to work a single crochet in our first stitch and place our stitch marker in place again and follow this on with six more single crochets so that's two three four five six and seven all together follow on with a decrease so I pull up a loop from the stitch and from the stitch after that three loops on our crochet yarn over pull through all three loops in one go so just like this finish this round by working seven single crochets in a row followed by a decrease seven single crochets a decrease all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 48 stitches now in this round we're going to work six single crochets in a row followed by a decrease six single crochets a decrease all the way around now be mindful when you get to this stage the gap over here is decreasing by every round so take a moment and fill this up with some fiber fill and keep going ahead by filling this as we are working along on this at the end of this round you should have a total of 42 stitches now in this round we are going to work five single crochets in a row followed by a decrease five single crochets a decrease all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 36 stitches now we are on our final round and in this round you're going to work four single crochets in a row followed by a decrease four single crochets and a decrease all the way around at the end of this round we should have a total of 30 stitches now we are going to take our stitch marker off and work a slip stitch in our next stitch over like this and now I can go ahead and snip this yarn off leaving a long tail so we can stitch the head and the body together. We're now going to work on the body for this bear and to start off we're going to work a slip knot, put our crochet in there and work chain two. From here to start round one you're going to work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook put your crochet in there pull up a loop yarn over pull through both that's my first single crochet of this round and we're going to work six all together here's my second third fourth fourth fifth and here's my sixth one once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this end to tighten your slip knot. So this gap disappears in the middle of your stitches. Now, next round to start off, we're going to work two single crochets in the very first stitch. So that's first single crochet, and here's my second one. So there are two single crochets in the same stitch. And we're going to follow this on with an increase in every single one of these stitches all the way around. So we're going to have two single crochets in every single stitch and the stitch count should be 12 by the end of this round. Once you have your 12 single crochets, you're going to start round three. We're working a single crochet in our first stitch and I'm going to be using a stitch marker from here on. And follow this one with an increase in the very next stitch so two single crochets in here then one single crochet and increase one single crochet and increase all the way around at the end of this round we should have a total of 18 stitches now to start the next round we're going to work two single crochets in our next two stitches so that's my second one 
Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker in place again in our first single crochet of this round. And after those two single crochets, we are going to work an increase in the next stitch. So we're going to have two single crochets in the same stitch. Follow this on with one single crochet, one single crochet and increase, one single crochet, one single crochet and increase all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. We're now going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row. So that's my first, second, and here's the third one. And we're going to follow this on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker in place in our first single crochet and repeat the same process. Three single crochets, follow on with an increase, three single crochet and increase all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 30 stitches. Now for the next round, we're going to have four single crochets in a row. So that's my first one. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker in place and go ahead and follow this with three more single crochets. So that's two, three, four. And we're going to have an increase in the very next stitch. That's my first single crochet. Going back into that same stitch and working my second. Now from here, you're going to work four single crochets in a row, followed on with an increase, four single crochets and increase all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 36 stitches. Now to start the next round, we're going to have five single crochets in a row. I'm going to go ahead and put my stitch marker in my first single crochet first. So that's two, three, four, five. I'm going to follow this on with an increase in the next stitch. So two single crochets in the same stitch. Follow this on with five single crochets and increase five single crochets and increase all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 42 stitches. Now in this round, we're going to work six single crochets in a row. Let's start with our first one in our first stitch and put our stitch marker in place. So six single crochets in a row followed by an increase, six single crochets and increase all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 48 stitches. We're going to now start the next round by working a single crochet in our first stitch and placing our stitch marker in. And we're going to follow this on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around. And we're going to repeat that nine times to have nine rounds of single crochet. At the end of nine rounds of single crochets, your stitch count should still be 48. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch and placing our stitch marker back in place. Follow this on with 13 more single crochets to make the total count 14. So for this round, you're going to have 14 single crochets followed on with a decrease, 14 single crochets a decrease all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 45 stitches. We are now going to have 13 single crochets in a row, followed by a decrease, 13 single crochets a decrease, and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 42 stitches. Now to start the next round, let's have a single crochet to begin with, and place our stitch marker back in place. And now you're going to follow this on with 11 more single crochets to make the total count to 12. So you're going to have 12 single crochets followed on with a decrease, 12 single crochets a decrease and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, our stitch count should be 39 and we are now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch and let's put the stitch marker back in place. And we're going to now follow this on with 10 more single crochets to make the total count to 11. So in this round, you're going to have 11 single crochets followed on with a decrease, 11 single crochets and a decrease all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 36 stitches. Now in this round, we are going to have a single crochet in our first stitch, place our stitch marker back in place, and work nine more single crochets, making the count to 10. So you're going to have 10 single crochets, followed on with a decrease, 10 single crochets and a decrease, and repeat that all the way around. 
At the end of this round, you should have a total of 33 stitches. Let's take our stitch marker out and start this round with nine single crochets in a row, followed by a decrease, nine single crochet and a decrease, and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 30 stitches. We're now going to finish off with this body and slip stitch in our stitched over. Chain one and we can go ahead and snip this yarn off, pull it out of the stitch, leaving a long tail so we can stitch this onto the head. Now we are going to obviously fill this up with some fibre fill and this should marry up perfectly because there are 30 stitches on the head and 30 stitches across here as well. We're now going to work on the arms and for this you're going to use the same grey colour as we have used for the rest of the body. Start off with a slip knot or a magic circle. If you are working with a magic circle go ahead and start round one with six single crochets. Slip knot you're going to work chain two and we're going to work six single crochets in the first, second chain from our hook which is right here. So pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both. That's my first single crochet. I'm going to need six all together. That's two, three, four, five, and here's my sixth one. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this end to close this gap between your stitches. And let's start the next round. Now for the next round, you're going to slip your crochet in the first single crochet of your previous round and pull up a loop and we're going to work two single crochets in the same space so that's my first one going back into that same stitch and i'm going to work another single crochet right in there follow this on with an increase in every single one of these stitches so we are going to end up with 12 single crochets all together so that's four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, and here's my last stitch. So eleven and twelve. For the next round, you're going to start off with a single crochet in your first stitch here. I'm going to start using a stitch marker from here on. I'm going to place that in my first single crochet of each round to identify where I'm beginning each round. Follow this on with an increase, so two single crochets in the next stitch over. And we're going to follow that on with the same repeat. One single crochet and increase, one single crochet and increase all the way around. At the end of this round you should have a total of 18 stitches. We are going to start the next round with two single crochets in a row so that's my first and here's the second one and follow this on with an increase and repeat that all the way around so two single crochets and increase two single crochets and increase at the end of this round you should have a total of 24 stitches we're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch and let's place our stitch marker back in and follow this on with two more single crochets in the next two stitches. So we're going to have a total of three single crochets followed on with an increase, three single crochets and increase and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round you should have a total of 30 stitches and we're going to now start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch, place the stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow this on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around. And we're going to repeat this six times all together. At the end of six rounds of single crochet, your stitch count should still be 30. We're now going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row. That's my second and third. Follow this on with a decrease. So to do this, you're going to put your crochet in the next stitch, pull up a loop, and the stitch after that and pull up a loop you have three loops on your crochet yarn over and pull through all three just like this you're going to have three single crochets a decrease three single crochets a decrease all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 24 single crochets we're going to start the next round with two single crochets in a row so that's first and second follow on with a decrease so 
pull up a loop from the first stitch and from the next stitch over three loops on our crochet yarn over pull through all three just like this go ahead and work two single crochets in a row and a decrease two single crochets and a decrease all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 18 stitches we're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch and we're going to put our stitch marker back in place follow this on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and we're going to repeat that three times to have three rounds of just single crochets at the end of this round you should still have a total of 18 stitches and we're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch over let's put our stitch marker back in place and we're going to follow this on with 15 more single crochets to make the total 16. Once you have your 16 single crochets, you're going to finish this round off with a decrease. Now, as you can see, the gap here is decreasing in size. So I would suggest for you to carry on filling this up with some fiber fill as you are working the next few rounds. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 17 stitches. We're now going to work three single crochets in a row. So that's my first, second and third. I'm going to put my stitch marker back in my first stitch of this round. And we're going to follow this on with a decrease. So put your crochet in the stitch and pull up a loop in the next stitch over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. And we're going to finish this round off with 12 single crochets in a row now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and here's my last stitch. And there's my 12th single crochet. Now to start the next round, we are going to work seven single crochets in a row. So let's take our stitch marker off and start the first stitch with a single crochet. And let's place the stitch marker back on. Now in this round, you're going to have seven single crochets in a row followed by a decrease and finish off with the seven single crochets again. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 15 stitches. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in the first stitch and put a stitch marker in place. Now in this round you're going to have 10 single crochets in a row followed by a decrease and finish off with three single crochets. At the end of this round you should have a total of 14 stitches. We're now going to work 12 single crochets in a row and follow that on with a decrease to complete this round. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 13 stitches. Now in this round, we are going to have three single crochets in a row. One, two, and here's my third one. I'm going to put my stitch marker back in place. Follow this on with a decrease. So we're going to work a decrease in the next two stitches. There we go, and complete this round with eight single crochets across. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. And now in this round, we are going to work five single crochets in a row, followed by a decrease, and then complete it with five single crochets. At the end of this round, we should have a total of 11 stitches. Now this is our final round, and we are going to work seven single crochets in a row for this one. So that's first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh and put this on with a decrease so a single crochet is in two stitches together like this and we are going to complete this by working two single crochets. So that's my first and second. This brings us to the end of this arm and we are going to now slip stitch in the next stitch over. So pull up a loop from there and make it go through the loop on your crochet that you had. 
chain one and you can now go ahead and snip a long tail and pull this out from this stitch and that completes your arm do go ahead and fill the rest of this arm up as well as well as you can and make another one of these so you have two identical arms we're now going to work on the legs for this teddy bear and we're going to start off with a slip knot again Again, there is an option of using magic circle if you wish to. Let's go ahead and chain two. And from here, you're going to work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. Stick your crochet inside, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both. That's your first single crochet of this round. Second, third, fourth, fifth, and here's my sixth one. Once you have your six single crochets, pull on this end to get rid of the gap between your stitches. And let's bring this closer together. Now to start the next round, you're going to slip your crochet in your first single crochet of your previous round. And we're going to pull up a loop from there. This is my first single crochet in that space and I'm going to go back into that same stitch and work a second single crochet. Now we have two single crochets in there and we're going to go all the way around in this all of these stitches and work two single crochets in each. That's four, five, six. This should make our stitch count to 12 by the end of this round. Eight, nine, ten, eleven and 12 that's my last stitch done as well now to start the next round you're going to work a single crochet in your first stitch here and work an increase in the very next one so two single crochets in this stitch that's one and two from here on i'm going to start using a stitch marker to identify the start of each of my rounds so i'm going to place that in the first single crochet of this round now from here go ahead and work a single crochet followed on with an increase, single crochet and increase all the way around. At the end of this round we should have a total of 18 stitches. Now to start the next round we're going to work two single crochets in our next two stitches. So that's my second one. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker in place again in our first single crochet of this round. And after those two single crochets we are going to work an increase in the next stitch. So we're going to have two single crochets in the same stitch. Follow this on with one single crochet, one single crochet and increase, one single crochet, one single crochet and increase all the way around. At the end of this round you should have a total of 24 stitches. We're now going to start the next round with three single crochets in a row. So that's my first, second and here's the third one. And we're going to follow this on with an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker in place in our first single crochet and repeat the same process. Three single crochets, follow on with an increase, three single crochet and increase all the way around. At the end of this round you should have a total of 30 stitches. Now for the next round we're going to have four single crochets in a row. So that's my first one. Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker in place. And go ahead and follow this with three more single crochets. So that's two, three, four. And we're going to have an increase in the very next stitch. Here's my first and here's the second single crochet. So from here you're going to repeat this same process. Four single crochets in a row followed by an increase. Four single crochets and increase all the way around. At the end of this round you should have a total of 36 stitches. Now to start the next round we're going to have five single crochets in a row. I'm going to go ahead and put my stitch marker in my first single crochet first. So that's two, three, four, five. And I'm going to follow this on with an increase in the next stitch. So two single crochets in the same stitch. Follow this on with five single crochets and increase five single crochets and increase all the way around. 
the end of this round you should have a total of 42 stitches we're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch and we're going to place our stitch marker back in position here we go and we're going to follow this on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and we're going to repeat that four times to have four rounds of single crochet at the end of four rounds of single crochets your stitch count should still be 42 going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch and let's place our stitch marker back in place now we're going to follow this on with four more single crochets to make the total to five and then my fifth one and we're going to follow this on with a decrease so put your crochet in the stitch over and pull up a loop do the same to the stitch after that so we have three loops on our crochet yarn over pull through all three in one go follow this on with five single crochets a decrease five single crochets a decrease and repeat that all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 36 stitches going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch let's place our stitch marker back in position and follow this on with a decrease so Pull up a loop from the next two stitches and yarn over, pull through all three loops in one go. Follow this on with 11 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine ten and here's my eleventh one we are now going to work a decrease in the next stitch and a single crochet after that and repeat this one more time so a decrease and a single crochet again in the next stitch we're now going to work a decrease again. That's one, two, there we go. And now we are going to have 11 single crochets in a row. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine ten eleven next is a decrease and we're going to finish this round off with a single crochet there we go this should bring our stitch count to 31 now we're going to start the next round with two single crochets to begin here's my first and second so two single crochets one in each stitch let's put our stitch marker back in place follow this on with a decrease so we're going to work a single crochet in the next two stitches together like this six single crochets in a row now and that's one two three four five and six a decrease in the next stitch a single crochet follow on with a decrease a single crochet a decrease a single crochet so we're basically repeating this three times so there's my next decrease and a single crochet I'm going to repeat that one more time decrease and a single crochet in my next stitch over now we're going to work another decrease and we're going to have six single crochets all together in a row so that's my first second third fourth fifth and sixth 
Now to complete this round, we're going to work a decrease in the next two stitches. Follow this on with two single crochets, so one in each stitch like this. Now this should bring our stitch count to 25. From here, we're going to start our next round with a single crochet in our first stitch follow on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and we're going to repeat it four times to have four rounds of just single crochets at the end of four rounds of single crochets your stitch count should still be 25 we're going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch and let's place our stitch marker back in place and now in this round you're going to work five single crochets in a row including your first one here Follow on with the decrease and complete this round with 18 single crochets. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. We're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch here. Let's put our stitch marker back in place. And in this round, you're going to have 11 single crochets followed on with a decrease and then finish this round off with 11 single crochets. Now, as you can see, this gap is uh, reducing in size. So I would suggest for you to fill this up with fiber fill as you work and complete each of your rounds from here on. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 23 stitches. We're now going to start the next round and we're going to work 16 single crochets in a row followed by a decrease and complete this round with five single crochets at the end of this round your stitch count should be 22. now in this round we are going to have a single crochet in our first stitch and place our stitch marker back in place and follow this on with 19 single crochets to make the total count to 20. So we're going to have 20 single crochets and complete this round with a decrease in the last two stitches. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 21 stitches. And we're going to now have four single crochets in a row. So that's my first, second, third and fourth. Follow this on with a decrease in the next two stitches and complete this round with 15 single crochets. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 20 stitches. Now, to start the next round, let's work a single crochet in our first stitch and place our stitch marker back in place. And in this round, you're going to have nine single crochets in a row, followed by a decrease and complete this round with nine single crochets again. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 19 stitches. We're now going to work 13 single crochets in a row followed by a decrease and complete this round with four single crochets at the end of this round you should have a total of 18 single crochets we're now going to start the next round with 16 single crochets in a row follow on with a decrease to complete this round at the end of this round you should have a total of 17 stitches we're now going to have three single crochets in a row Put the stitch marker back in place. So three single crochets in a row followed by a decrease and then finish this round off with 12 single crochets. At the end of this round we should have a total of 16 stitches and now in the next round you're going to have seven single crochets in a row followed by a decrease and complete this round with seven more single crochets. At the end of this round you should have a total of 15 stitches now on to the next round we're going to have 10 single crochets in a row followed by a decrease and then you're going to complete this round with three single crochets at the end of this round you should have a total of 14 stitches now in our last and final round you're going to work five single crochets in a row that's one two three four at five follow on with a decrease in the next two stitches pull up the loop from first stitch and the next stitch and go through all three five single crochets again one two three four and five and we're going to complete this round with a decrease. 
scrap loop from the first stitch and the next and go through all three in one go now to complete this you're going to work a slip stitch in the next stitch over and chain one now you can go ahead and snip a long tail and pull this through the stitch bring this down to secure in place and follow the same instructions to make one more of these legs we're now going to work on the tail for this bow and we're going to start the same way as we did with the other things so either a magic circle or a slip knot chain two if you're using the slip knot method and from here to start your first round you're going to work five single crochets in the second chain from your hook slip your crochet in yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through both in one go that's my first single crochet and we're going to have five of those all together second third fourth and here's my fifth one once you have your five single crochets pull on the end of this yarn to close the gap between your stitches and now to start the next round we are going to put our crochet in our first single crochet of our previous round and work two single crochets in the same space so an increase that's one going back into that same stitch pull up a loop and there's my second one we're going to work all the way around and we're going to work an increase in all of these stitches giving you a stitch count of 10 by the end of this round that's four five six seven eight and my last stitch nine and ten now to start the next round we're going to work a single crochet in our first stitch here i'm going to use a stitch marker from here on and follow this on with a an increase that's one and two and we're going to follow that on with a single crochet and increase single crochet and increase all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 15 stitches we're now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch and place the stitch marker back in place and now we're going to follow this on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and we're going to repeat that four times to have four rounds of single crochet the end of four rounds of single crochets your stitch count should still be 15. now for the final round for this tail you're going to work a single crochet followed on with a decrease to do this you're going to put your crochet in pull up a loop into the next stitch over pull up a loop three loops on your crochet yarn over pull through all three in one go just like this go ahead and finish this round with a single crochet followed on with a decrease There's my final stitch, one single crochet followed on with a decrease and that brings us to the end of this round. Now at the end of this round you should have a total of 10 stitches to complete you're going to slip stitch in the next stitch over and chain one. Now we can snip this yarn off keeping a long tail so we can stitch this on to the body and before we do that we are going to be filling this up with some fibre fill. Now onto the ears and for this we are going to start off by working a slip knot and we're going to chain two to begin there we go now in our second chain from our hook we're going to work six single crochets that's one two three four five and here's my sixth one once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this end to close your uh, slip knot, and we are going to now start the next round. And to do this, you're going to slip your crochet in the first single crochet of your previous round and work two single crochets in the same space. So that's one and two, 
and we're going to follow this on with an increase in every single one of these stitches which means two single crochets all the way around Here's my last stitch and we're going to work two single crochets in there as well. Now at the end of this round you should have a total of 12 stitches. We're now going to start the next round and we're going to work a single crochet in our first stitch here. Follow this on with an increase, a single crochet and an increase all the way around. At the end of this round we have a total of 18 stitches and we're now going to start the next round. And for this we're going to work two single crochets in a row follow on with an increase so two single crochets in the same stitch two single crochets in a row followed by an increase all the way around go ahead and put your stitch marker in the right place as well at the end of this round you should have a total of 24 stitches now going to start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch here place the stitch marker in place and we're going to now follow this on with a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and we're going to repeat that four times to have four rounds of single crochets at the end of four rounds of single crochet we're going to slip stitch in our first single crochet of this round like this and we can now go ahead and snip this yarn off pull this out of the stitch and that completes your ears now you're going to follow the same instructions and make one more of these, making sure that the tail is long enough to stitch it on the head later on. Now onto the muzzle and for this we are going to be using the same type of yarn but in white colour. And we're starting with a slip knot or a magic circle if you prefer. From here you're going to chain two and work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. Going to slip your crochet inside the second chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both. That's my first single crochet of this round. Let's go ahead and work five more. And here's the sixth one. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to close the gap between your stitches. And we're now going to move on to second round. And for this, you're going to slip your crochet in the first single crochet of your previous round. Be sure to go through both of the loops in one go, like this. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both. That's my first single crochet. I'm going to go back into the same stitch and work another single crochet. Now I have two single crochets in that same stitch. Just like this, we're going to go all the way around and work two single crochets in every single one of these stitches. This should bring our stitch count to 12 by the end of this round. Once you have your 12 single crochets, we're going to start the next round. We're working a single crochet in our first stitch and from here on I'm going to start using my stitch marker to identify the start of each round. So after one single crochet, we're going to follow this on with an increase which means two single crochets in the same stitch then a single crochet followed on with an increase single crochet followed on with an increase and repeat that all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 18 stitches we're going to start the next round with two single crochets in the next two stitches so one in each stitch follow this on with an increase which means two single crochets in the same stitch that's my first and second in the same stitch just like this, go ahead and work two single crochets and increase and repeat that all the way around. This round you should have a total of 24 stitches. Now in this round we're going to have three single crochets in a row. That's my second and third. Followed on with an increase and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round you should have a total of 30 stitches. We're now going to start off with four single crochets in a row, followed by an increase, four single crochets and increase and repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, your stitch count should be 36. Going to take our stitch marker out and start the next round with 
five single crochets in a row followed by an increase five single crochets and increase and repeat that all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 42 stitches we're going to take our stitch marker off and start the next round with a single crochet in our first stitch and let's place the stitch marker back in place there now from here we're going to work a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way around and we're going to do that twice to have two rounds of single crochet at the end of this round you should still have a total of 42 stitches we're going to start our next round with five single crochets and follow that on with a decrease and then five single crochets a decrease and repeat that all the way around at the end of this round you should have a total of 36 stitches and we are going to now finish this muzzle off with a slip stitch in our next stitch over and chain one now you can go ahead and keeping a long tail snip the yarn and pull this out of your stitch and we are going to use this to stitch this on the face later on we're now going to stitch all these components together and we're going to start off with the muzzle and the face so we are going to need a little bit of fiber fill which we are going to stuff in this muzzle and you're going to hold this muzzle directly in between the eyes like this exactly in the center and i would suggest for you to have the stitch that you finished with right at the bottom so that you are holding this in place like this so now using your darning needle hold this in place with one hand and using your darning needle you are going to go through these stitches on the face like this one stitch at a time and we are first of all going to secure just this stitch down and then we can go all the way around there we go once we've done this you're going to go through one stitch on the face like this and then we're going to go one stitch through the muzzle again on the face and once through the muzzle and just like this you're going to make your way all the way around and secure this in place After a few stitches, always double check and make sure that the muzzle hasn't moved and is still exactly where you want it. And just like this, make your way all the way around and meet me back here. Once you reach the end, you're going to secure this by putting the needle through the neck like this. And we are going to turn this over and give this thread a little knot in here. By creating a little loop and let's put our needle through this loop. And this should make a knot in place which should secure your thread in. Once you worked your way all the way around this muzzle and finished with it, we're going to take some black yarn and we're going to thread this using a darning needle. And now we are going to make a little black nose for this little bear. So to do this, you're going to take the thread and the needle and put this through the fiber fill and make it come out through the center of this muzzle right here. And once the thread is secure inside we are going to trace out a nose just above here so to do this you are going to take the needle and go through so to be able to trace this out I would actually suggest for you to use either a drawing pin you can even use a little pencil or even uh, 
um, a colored chalk that you can actually use to trace out the nose. So that's how wide I want this nose to be. So I'm going to take the thread and go into the center where exactly I've um, outlined the nose. We're going to put the thread in through there and pull this out like this. Okay, to make it go straight to the center again. And we're going to come back out from the same stitch. So let's move this needle out of the way. I'm going to make this come out from the very same stitch where the pin originally was. Now, just like this, we are going to repeat this process. We're going back into the center again, and this time, I'm going to move this over one stitch and come out from the stitch directly next to where the pin originally was, just like this. And each time when you're doing this, be sure to ensure that the thread actually lies down next to the one that was already there instead of overlapping like this. And we're going to just carry on with this process, going to in the center every single time and coming out one stitch over, one at a time. Take your time with this because we don't really want any white gaps in between these threads. So we're gonna keep going in the center again, like this. Again, making sure that it lies down next to the thread that's already there. And following this method, go ahead and trace out the hole of this nose. I've now made my way all the way around and reached the other side. I'm just going to pull this down and neaten the nose up. To do this, you're going to go at the bottom of this stitch and go through this once. And just like this, we are actually going to make the needle come out from the other side where we started tracing this shape out, like this. And this time I'm going to make my needle go through this loop, which will give you a perfect finish on your nose right here. And once we've done with this, we are going to neaten the top part up as well. And to do this, you're going to stick your needle back into that same space and make it come out a few stitches further down, right on the top of the nose. And one by one, we are going to go back into that same space again, but this time come out a little bit further down over this nose, just like this. And that would create a line on top of this nose, which will give this a very clean and clear look on the top as well. And right at the end, I'm just going to make this thread go in the opposite side, stick this in the center where we started our nose and make it come out at the bottom of this nose here, like this. Now from here, you're going to create the line for the mouth as well. And to do this, you're just going to use a single line for this uh, with this black yarn. And I'm going to just stick this needle directly at the bottom of this muzzle and make it come out from the bottom of the neck like this. And just give this a little squeeze to make sure that this is not pulling. And once that is done, we can just go ahead and secure this thread in place as well. And that completes our nose for this little bear.
Using the same black thread, we are now going to trace out the eyebrows. Now, before we begin, we are going to use one of these sewing pins and we're going to trace out exactly where we want the eyebrows to be positioned. So I want my eyebrows for this bear to be a vertical line just across both sides. So to do this, I'm going to use the needle and stick this in position exactly where I think I want the eyebrows to be. Now, the best thing about using these pins is that you can always take them out if you don't like it and reposition it and keep doing that until you get the right position. Now, I'm happy with that. And once you know exactly where you want this, you're going to take the needle and your thread and make sure that the bottom of this thread is uh, fastened. And we are going to now put this thread through the fibre fill and make it come out from the bottom of this pin or near the head where this is coming out like this. Once this is through, keep this nice and loose so it's not pulling on anything. Uh, from here, I'm going to take, before I take the pin out, I'm going to put the needle at the bottom or at the top of this brow right here. So I know exactly how wide I want this to be. Now I can take this pin away and I can stick this further in. Now, instead of just securing this in place, I'm going to directly go on the other side and make this needle come out from the tail of the other pin, right here, like this. Now, we are going to stick this in and take this out. Still keeping your grip nice and gentle we don't want it to be too tight so that the stitches gather once we've done this we are going to put the needle in where the head of this needle is of this pin so just around here so i'm going to stick that in and i can now take this pin out as well and we're now going to get this pin to come out from the neck area so that it gets secured into all the wadding or the fiber fill like this and once it's out let's just go ahead and make sure that it's not pulling anywhere and that completes the eyebrows i'm now going to go ahead and secure this in place as well by giving this a knot and that completes the eyebrows now onto the ears and to do this you're going to fold the ear over like this making sure that the stitch that you finished with is on one of the sides and I'm just going to give this little squeeze in the center because that will make the ear indented like this. Now we are going to put this in place exactly where we want it. So to position this correctly, you're going to make the head face, the top of the head face you. And this is where we started the whole of this head. So we are going to count four rounds over. So that's the center. That's one, two, three, and four. So this is exactly where we are going to stitch this ear in. So just around the round four and five between them two. So I'm going to secure one side down, go through the front and the back of this ear. So making sure it's going through both of these like this. And there we go. Now that's secure from one side. We can just use a um, sewing pin if you want to to secure this in place and hold it in place tight while we stitch all of these down so I'm going to hold this in place like this and go once through the head and go through both the front and the back of the ear like this and just like this we're going to make our way all the way down to the end
Once we've reached the other side, I'm going to take this pin out, make this ear perk up, and we are going to secure the this side down as well. So to do this, you're just going to go through the stitches on the head and the ear like this a couple of times in the same place. And last time when you do this, you're going to create a loop. So just going through the same stitch again, I'm going to create a loop with my yarn and I'm going to put my needle through it, which creates a little knot in place. So I'm going to secure that down and stick this back inside the bottom part of this ear. And I'm going to just let this go through some fiber fill and make it come out from another side. Now. Squeezing this, I can take this out and I'm going to now go ahead and snip this thread off. If it is sticking out, you can just give this head a squeeze and that thread should disappear. Now use the same method and go ahead and stitch the other ear on as well. Once you finish with the ears, we're going to stitch the head and the body together. Now, as you may remember, we finished off with 30 stitches around the neck here and 30 stitches on the top. So to connect these two things, we are going to first of all make sure that the stitch that we finished on the body is at the back. To do this, push the fibre fill out of the way and give the top part a squeeze. So you can see that that stitch that we finished with is in the centre. Now using a darning needle, I'm going to secure this at the back of the neck of this head. So turn the head over and the body the right way as well so both of them are facing the bottom holding them both in place i'm going to just secure this neck just by using one stitch right here go through it a couple of times and we are going to just leave it like that for now while we work with the other thread that we had using another darning needle while this one just stays there because this allows you to just be able to work around the neck and that is already holding this in place which is quite nice so hold the body and the head together again exactly wherever this uh, thread meets the body so wherever this stitch finishes I'm going to go directly underneath and put my thread through needle through one of these stitches like this and once this has gone through, let me hold this up so you can see it clearly. Here we go. Pushing the fibre fill out of the way, we are going to now go once through the body and one stitch through the head, like this. Again, one stitch through the body and one stitch through the head after doing a few stitches like this you can pull this down and that should close the gap in between the stitches and just like this we're going to take a few stitches at a time and stitch them together so through the body and through the head each time i tend to hold my thread up like this because once the stitches have been stitched on or worked on and they are tight I don't want them to lose their um, grip so we just hold on to this thread on the side while you are going around the neck a bit at a time going to go through this one stitch at a time and just like this following the same method you're going to stitch the head and the neck together
once you've worked your way all the way around the neck you're going to secure this thread in by creating a loop like this and make your needle go through the same loop that you've just created and pull this down I'll create a knot in place which will secure the thread in now you're going to put this needle back inside the same stitch like this and make this come out from another side of the head and you're going to pull this out like this so we are going to use the same method and get rid of this thread as well which was the first bit that we connected with the neck now once you've done it you can go ahead and snip these two bits of yarn. There we go. We're now going to move on to the arms and to stitch the arms on we are going to first of all make sure that the stitch we finished with is on one side. Let's push the fibre foot out of the way and squeeze the top. So the front and the back is joined together like this. Now turn your bear to one side and we are going to count three rounds down from the neck. So this is where we connected the neck and the body and we're going to, going to count three rounds down. So that's one, two and three. Here's the third round and this is where we're going to stitch this arm in. So we are going to put the needle through one side and let's just hold this in place to see exactly what this looks like from the front some people prefer using uh, sewing pins it's entirely up to you if you prefer that you can always take the sewing pins and stick this in place while you figure out exactly where the other arm is going in as well and then you can go ahead and stitch the top using the same technique as we did for the neck so go once through the body once through the arm making sure when you're doing this that you are going through the front and the back of these two bits together. So I'm going to show you how to do one of these and then you can go ahead and do the other one as well. Once you secured the end of this particular yarn into the third round, we are going to just secure it one more time. Let's go through this stitch again in the same place just like this and making sure the front and the back are both together you're going to go through the next stitch over like this and we're going to put this needle through the front and the back of the arm in one go like this once through the body once through the front and the back of the arm together, like this. Once through the body, and once through the front and the back of the arm. And last time, each time making sure that you are still working in round three. And there we go, we've just worked our way across the top. And now that I'm in the front of this arm, you're going to secure that down by going through the stitch a couple of times. So put your needle in the same stitch again and one more time in the same place and there you have it. Now once we finish with this you're going to stitch uh, stick this needle inside and make it come out from the bottom of this arm. And this is where we will secure this in place. To do this, you're going to create a loop with the yarn and stick your needle through this and pull this down. This will create a knot. And then we can stick this back into the same stitch and make the needle come out from another side of the body. It can be anywhere, really. And once it's through, I'm just going to go ahead and snip this yarn off. And there you have it, that's the arm stitched on. Going to use the same method and go ahead on this side, identify where the third round is and you're going to stitch the arm in. But while you're doing this, be sure to hold it in place and check if they are actually equal distance apart in uh, comparison to the muzzle because it needs to be, the muzzle needs to be right in the center. And this is where I think my arm should go and I can actually secure this with a, 
one of these uh, sewing pins or you can secure it with whatever you like and then go ahead and stitch this using the same method. We're now going to work on the legs and for this we are going to take the leg and squeeze the foot part of this leg as you can see that this part protrudes out so we're going to squeeze this and make sure the top is squashed like this that the top the back and the front are squashed together so they are actually together like this so the two options that you have to stitch this onto the body is first one is that you actually stitch this right in the front like this and the other leg is going to just go directly next to it like this or the one that i am going to use is that you actually squeeze this like this so make a vertical line in comparison to the boot or the foot so there's a foot i'm squeezing it across like this so that the line is vertical and to attach this i am going to count seven rounds from the bottom so here's the center that's round two three four five six seven there's my seventh round and i'm going to attach this leg after the seventh round so between round seven and round eight so over here you're going to stitch this in making sure when you're doing this that the arm and the leg are actually in line with one another okay so let's go ahead and count this again so that's one two three four five six seven and i'm stitching this in this round and i'm just going to quickly mark the point where the leg and the arm should be starting so there we go that's where it needs to go in so it so that it, this is in line with the arm you can obviously use this method i don't tend to use pins so i'm just going to stitch it, this put the needle in and secure one end first while holding the body and the leg together closely and going through the same stitch a couple of times there we go and once we've secured that in we are now going to use the same method as we did with the arms and go across in this round so the same round so between seven and eight this space here we are going to stitch the leg to the body so go th once through the stitch on the body and once through the stitch on the legs when you're going through the leg you need to make sure you catching the front and the back in one go like this pull this out go back into that same round each time it needs to be in the same round and go once through the body and once through the leg and just like this make your way all the way to the end And once you reach the end, you're going to secure this in place, just like we did with the front. So we're going to go through the end of this leg and the last stitch on the body where we are attaching the leg a couple of times through the same stitch. And once you've done that, you're going to stick this needle in Back again in the same stage and make it come out from the bottom of this leg like this we're now going to secure this in place here and make the needle or the thread actually um, disappear by making it go inside the fiber fill so give it a little knot and stick this back in the same stitch and make it come out from the other side we can now go ahead and snip this off and use exactly the same method to stitch the other leg on as well now on to our final little detail we're going to stitch this little tail on our bear so we're going to turn this over like this and we're going to stitch this in the same round as the legs so the stitch that your tail finished on we're going to make sure that is at the bottom and it goes into the same round as the legs and 
that round is round between round seven and eight. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is the round we need to put this in. So find out exactly where the center of this is, which is right here. I'm going to stitch this down like this. And I am going to do this by following the same method as we have done with everything else. So go once through the body and once through the stitches on the tail. And go, make your way all the way around and secure this in place. Once you've secured the tail in place, this completes your project. And you can now go ahead and accessorize this as you wish. You might want to put a scarf, a bow or a flower in place. And there you have it. This is our little bear. If you enjoyed making this bear with me, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and I would love to hear your comments about this as well.